Thought I'd try a different coil today, so put the coil tech Joey on. I'm just in my front yard, high EMI area. But anyway, I've got it on 16 in fine gold mode still. And this is the one or two dollar coin, I don't know which, but that one's at about 20, 25 centimeters. I'll just go into pinpoint now. Sixty-two, sixty-three. Here's one of the same coin. They ID almost the same on the Equinox, the one and two dollars. So we'll just go over that. So this is the mistake people have been making with the pinpoint. They've been using it. like a VLF like that but it's a no motion pinpoint so the aim is to get still over the target but here's a little kicker now with the new firmware update you'll see really loud gets quite annoying you can now adjust that but that's only so it's normal volume there go into pinpoint mode not so loud. Can bump it up. So you've got independent pinpoint volume, which is really handy because it does seem loud a lot of the time. And with headphones, it's probably even worse. I only ever run speaker. But now it's really good, perfect, in fact, setting it independently. So that's normal volume. Let's lower that down. So that's now on three. Much quieter. Go to pinpoint. Let's crank that up. That's now on highest volume for pinpoint. Back out of pinpoint. Still quiet. So the independent independent volumes are working perfectly. And that's ultra fine gold. I'm in a little bit of EMI today. I'll go to that screen and so that's the current status. I'm on that one there with the blacked out section. You can hold this button down and recheck. Nothing much is changing. Back out of there. And the other new thing now is it's quicker when you hold in a button to perform the function of the hold in. So for example, I want to do a frequency scan. That's now quicker. You don't have to hold it in for as long before it kicks in. So this new firmware is looking pretty good. Happy with it. All right. 